Exploring aviation safety, turbulence incidents, and controller interactions from a pilot's perspective. With safety. Now, first of all, you don't need your tray table down for landing, but if you felt the need to keep it down, if you had to get out of that airplane in an emergency, like everybody's got to get out, and by the way, the FAA standard is everybody out and down the slides in 90 seconds or less, and that's using only half the slides that are available. That's a pretty ambitious goal. If you've got to raise every other tray table to get out of your aisle to get into the aisle to jump into the slides guess what that's going to be an impedance to your progress it's safety that's why we keep the seat belts up and they keep the seat forward all right next question is this uh juvie live or juvie live uh, can turbulence flip an airplane upside down or cause serious damage to a plane uh, i've never known it to turn an airplane upside down i suppose in theory it probably could i just don't know of an instance where it ever has uh, can it cause damage to an airplane oh absolutely uh worse than that is flying through either a thunderstorm or hail that causes a lot of damage but that's the most severe type of turbulence i had an incident years ago uh, eight seconds of what's called severe turbulence and uh, there was damage to the back of the airplane uh, and uh, there was everything came out into the aisles seven people were hurt all together and it was the seven people that hadn't buckled their seat belt as I had told them I had turned the seat belt sign on and then we had said to everybody we're going to have some bumps up ahead please make sure your seat belt is fastened uh, seven people got hurt not seriously but they did get hurt